All right, um, I'm going to make a video. I decided to make a video with all the pictures I have. I don't know, I found these in my mom's house. So uh, let's just jump into it. I believe I'm 13 years old here. Little Surge, seventh grade. <laughs> I think it's like seventh, what? Yeah. Plymouth Prowler at the Great Cars, Great Truck Store in Mall of America. Future car, future car. <laughs> it's not, not a future car anymore. There's the Viper attitude with the capital A. Zoom, zoom. There's my brother with a Viper. Yeah. <laughs> There's with my sister's Plymouth Breeze, 99 Plymouth Breeze. After we fixed it up. Or before we fixed it up. It still needed a bumper. But I took out the clear, I took out the corners out of the headlights, the amber. <laughs> I put clear corners in it. <laughs> So uh, yeah, more few, more new Chrysler cars with my brother at the Great Cars Great Truck Store. I think I'm 16 here. My first engine swap in my '92 Nissan Maxima. I was very proud of that. My Integra GSR 99, what was it? It was a, no, it was a 2000. It was a 2000 Integra GSR. I got it with 23,000 miles, sold it with 30, 33, I believe. And I had those, now impossible to find Scorcher tires. You have Goodrich Scorcher tires on 17 inch. American Racing Wheels. Gold package too. The thing had gold package. Black with black leather. I taught everybody how to drive stick in this car. I was like, hey, do you know how to drive a car? No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to drive a car that's stick. And I was like, look, the red line goes up to 8200. That's when the rev limiter kicks in so the engine doesn't blow up. But, you know, you could take it all the way up to 8200, you know. You could get, if you put your sister's friends and her in the back seat and your friend in the front seat, this thing would spin the tires in first gear, second gear, and when you jam it in third gear, it'll squawk the tires. And it'll chirp them. Uh, and by that time, you're doing like 80, 80 on the county road, 42. Man, so many people learn how to drive stick in this car. And I was like, Julia, while we're waiting for church, we got like an hour. We're here. We're an hour early. It's time for you to learn how to drive a stick. She's like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I said, it's a great idea. I owe my sister all this money for this car. So, um, because she lent, she lent me money to, well, the deal with this car was, who was it? A friend of mine. Okay. So a guy bought it brand new off the dealer's lot and uh what happened it had hail damage off the dealer's lot so he got like two thousand off or something like two or so it was like eighteen thousand brand new and he's paying like these payments they're like 250 dollars a month and then he did the worst thing possible was race a mustang svt cobra and a girl driving the svt cobra so sure enough, what happens is you go in the ditch and you smash against the tree. The other door, not this door, the other side door was smashed against the tree and some bends. Anyways, so then he sold it to another guy. He didn't really sell it. He sold it uh, where the guys just took over the payments. And then that guy didn't have enough money. And then he just shows up to my house one day, Serge, I can't sell, you know, I can't keep up with the payments. Now, Mark Malai, if Mark's watching, he's hunting for these. And he's hunting for, like, a whole suitcase full of Civic SIs. So I was like, Boris, just put this thing in my garage. I'll give you a 1000 right now and take over all your payments. 
boom, done. So $250 payments, and I think like 50 of the dollars goes toward the interest every month. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of money going to interest. And my sister just sold her house, and I was like, hey, I'm going to need to borrow like 7000 was the payoff on it. So the total price that I paid for this car and fixing the hail damage dents, repainting it, putting the spoiler wheels, it was less than 10000 It was like, okay, it might have been like 10500 I drove it for an entire year, sold it for 13500 Put 10,000 miles on it. Wow. What a, what a memory. Love that car. Man, and then those girls in high school, they were like kind of curious about me when I was driving this thing, but I didn't even pay attention to them. I was so focused on the cars. Man, this one cutie. Oh, I thought she was so cool looking, but anyways, um, my Maxima with it. This I think this is before I swapped the engine. Tinted windows. I think I'm like 19 in this. 18 or 19. Oh, there's my brother Val. In the GSR. This is probably Myrtle Beach when I was 15. This is Myrtle Beach. Yuri and I went. Uncle Yuri and I went to get some seafood for the camp. There's this fishing place outlet and fishing boats behind it. And they have this old car. This Ford, what is it? It's a T. This Ford Model T outside. And so I still have my, I was wearing my shirt from the grocery store, Nolan's, where I used to work at. Nolan's is like Jubilee Foods or, you know, Sergey. When we had the green shirts, I was the... I was working there for like seven months. I was the the uh, <clears throat> the guy who bags your groceries. Anyways, this is probably two thousand. This is probably two thousand. Year two thousand. How old? Sixteen, twenty. Yeah, two thousand or ninety nine. JC Penny spotted spotted a 3000 GT. It was such a cool car back then. Still is, huh? We spotted a 3000 GT. There's our Honda with the for sale sign. <clears throat> 92 Accord with LTSs painted over. <laughs> Candy apple red. There's my first car. And that's Val, my brother Val in it. 1990 Integra RS. So we got the new panels on it and the new headlight. So we gotta fix the bumper. But uh, man, I was really happy with that. Bam, engine swamp. What do you think about that, huh? I was so proud of it. Um, it we. We didn't bolt the transmission together to the engine the correct way. We didn't. We almost blew the transmission out by uh, not lining up the teeth on the torque converter. We bolted it all together. The thing doesn't turn over, and it turned over before. So the mechanic down the road at the Amico station on Highway 3 and what was it, 140th? I asked him, I said, hey, my engine doesn't turn over after I swapped it, before it turned over. And um, after talking to him for a while, we figured, I figured out I needed to loosen the transmission housing bolts all around and let the tension off the torque converter. And then I turned the engine over and I heard it snap. I heard the torque converter teeth snap right into place because they weren't lined up properly. We just kind of put the torque converter in and then put the transmission against the engine without the torque converter fitted, fitted to the 
splines. So then snapped together and the engine turned over and we tightened the, the bolts around the bell housing. Boom, car started up and drove. Yeah. <laughs> the backyard, fall colors. Natasha was like, let's go take photos. I just got this new camera. Don't tell anybody I spent $600 of my Burger King money on the camera. Let's go try it out. Try out the features. Taking the GSR to the car wash. Acne face. I think I was 19 when I had the GSR. Still acne face. I just wanted the logo to get in. <laughs> it's like, take a picture of me. Oh, yeah, there we were. Myrtle Beach with Grandma. Grandma and Yuri and Val camping. This is when I took, this is Dima Badarianka's jet ski. We pulled it all the way to South Carolina with Yuri's Audi. And we blew, we blew the motor in that thing. I blew it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this dock, it's like an inlet. It's like an inlet to the, uh, to the ocean. There's all kinds of crabs and crazy wildlife out here. Sharks, little two-foot sharks, one-foot sharks. Anyway, so Yuri's like, okay, your turn to play with the jet ski. And so I pull away, and it's like, and it goes, and the motor's like, katink. And I was like, what? And I start cranking it over. It wouldn't even turn over. It goes, it just like goes, katink. So it dropped a valve in the cylinder. And so I'm like floating away with the stream and I grabbed onto some, some of the grass growing. And I was like, Yuri, come help. So he, so he uh, gets on the tube, swims over to me. He's like, why aren't you off of it? Why are you still on the jet ski holding onto the grass? Why don't you get on the grass? I said, yeah, look at that giant crab in there. I don't want him to bite me. So Yuri jumps off of the tube and on the jet ski with me. And... Uh, and what do we do? Um, he's like, yeah, that crab's pretty big. It was, it was like a horseshoe crab, you know, like a big bad boy like this. Harmless horseshoe crab. <laughs> we didn't know any better. That was the first time I seen a horseshoe crab. Um, I don't think they're, they're any danger. Anyways, a boat coming by threw us a rope and towed us back. And Yuri didn't yell at me for blowing the engine, but uh, Dima Bandarianke probably gave him some heat for that. And Yuri had to rebuild Dima's jet ski motor. Mission trip to Ukraine. Man, this is how we ate at the camp. Look, it's Dima and what's his, her name? They were, I think they ended up getting married later. There's Vitalik and Luba. Anyways, this is Ukraine mission trip with Teen Missions International. We were rebuilding uh, some things on this church and a couple other churches and they're building down there oh my first business card yeah that's the mission trip in ukraine digging a trench for some foundation we're gonna put some foundation in the in the ground oh first back to church it's luba off and off. oh is that me playing back there no if I played in there or not. Wow, there's a picture. Miss James. My mom, brother and sister at some museum. Again, the First Baptist Church school. I didn't I don't even know if I sang in the square. You know, I I I think I just did the lights. These were the guys from Grace Church. Um, Greg Holderman, J.B. O'Brien, Tyler, I don't remember his name. How about that? Danny. And the other Greg. Man, I forgot all their names. I'm like the only one looking at my camera. 
This is St. Croix River, still water. Uh, what were we doing? We were camping? We went to camp. I think we went to Big Sandy Camp or like Troll Hogan. We went somewhere over there. On the way back, we had like two hours of lunch in still water. Again. <laughs> I was friends with Dima at the time, Bandarenka, uh, not Bandarenka, Gamoyunov. <laughs> Posing with the GSR. Yeah. Oh, Mom and I drove to Chicago. I spotted this Nissan Altima on Auto Trader for $600. So we duct taped the front end together and drove it from Chicago. And uh, at this point, I told Mom, I said the seats are more comfortable in the Altima than the Maxima. So uh, Mom got, well, yeah, we were switching cars and. We both agreed the seats are comfortable, <laughs> more comfortable in the Altima. I don't know why the Maximum might just be so old and padded down. But uh, yeah, we bought that car for 600 bucks, got it home. It was the Altima Limited Edition. We, we put a lot of uh, good use to it after we fixed it up. Somebody doesn't know how to take a picture, missing the front end of the Integra, my first car. Loha and I, Alex Leluch, in our leather jackets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ida and I. This is when Ida first came to the United States. We were on the log shoot <laughs> at the Mall of America. Oh, look at that. Hell's flames. Heaven's Gate play that we did with, who's all in here? Look, it's Val, me, Gary, come on, you know, look who's all in here. It's so basically, um, it was a little play we did. Ira made this. Uh, she planned it all. Ira oh, Grigori. <laughs> it's basically, um, we just, oh, man, it was a good play. Dad acted as the devil. <laughs> uh, Ukraine mission trip again when I was like 15. Oh, that was me telling my testimony. <laughs> That's a picture of me. I made the grandmas cry. I told them how how I didn't like my family all being divorced and messed up in America. Yeah, uh, this was Grace Church again. The youth, or what was it? This was the high school group. Yeah. I think I still have Kate's phone number <laughs> written in the, in the back of a Gideon Bible. And then Brianne, she went to school to be a doctor. I thought her sister Kate was like the cutest. But I got her number too. I got Kate's number, but we didn't keep in touch. I don't know why, just college. This is... I want to say my graduation, my graduation, or after my graduation, high school graduation, but, um, it might have been just the day after a concert in First Baptist. Val wore some glasses. Now he stopped. Fixed his eyes. Oh. This is symmetry, business training, how to how to set goals. We turn dreams into reality. Be the rhino. Go for your goal. Seeds of success. Stay away from negative people. Joe Delisle. Those are good times. Uh, I forgot these girls' names. Grace Church High School. Again, this picture. Oh, yeah, my Ultima. 
This is the Ultima GLE. We had another Ultima. This is the first Ultima. It's what I drove to high school. And my friend Tim Schmott and his Corsica. Chevy Corsica. And you can see all the snow. This is the first Baptist church parking lot. High school. And this is what, like an hour before we got busted by police. With the Lelios. They were like, hey, Serge, we know this abandoned go-kart in the woods. I was like, well, let's go get it. So we go get it. And we kind of tow it back to their house like a mile away. And we get the police. The police stopped us. I guess it turned out. Um... No, the Lelix knew all along it belonged to somebody I didn't know. They put it in the woods to go get it later. And here I show up to their house and Lelix's mom was upset that I said, let's go get it. And that we had all this police drama. I didn't know it was somebody else's and you guys rolled it in the woods before telling me that it's an abandoned go-kart in the woods. Lying Lelux. Look at that. Yeah, that's the Brooklyn... Brooklyn uh, Park Mitsubishi dealership. Oh, not too proud about that. <laughs> but holding a BB gun. <laughs> Stupid 16 year old. Yeah. This was shortly after we discovered Love Park. Started taking pictures there. Val and I. Now everyone, everyone goes to Love Park. Oh my goodness, this is me probably. Probably 16. Yup, I remember that day it was somebody's wedding. My second sister. Elena, my cousin Ida, my sister, Veronica, the oldest. Look, I was taller than everybody, right? And her husband at the time, Paul. I had that. I remember that day I wore a, everything black and I had this shiny dark silver tie. Boom, my Maximo again in the fall colors. This is probably like 1990 something. Look, it's my dad's Ford Aerostar van. So we're playing some hockey with the Coon Rapids guys at the hill on Crooked Lake Boulevard. No, this isn't Crooked Lake Boulevard. Northdale Boulevard and Highway 10. Northdale Boulevard and Highway 10 back there. We went ice skating all the time. Dad took us there all the way. Oh, waxed up the GSR. Time to go. Time to go to church. I remember that. I waxed it. I waxed it that day and uh, left the Honda at home, took the GSR. Started to rain like crazy too. This is probably third grade Minnesota Zoo. I asked somebody, I seen the shark coming and I handed my camera to one of my classmates. Hey, take a picture with me and that shark. Boom. Look, I had a Florida Gators shorts. This is probably like third grade, fourth grade, third grade. I don't even know. Mississippi Elementary was the school I was going to at the time. Tire swing, or not a tire swing, just a swing. At the first house we lived in, no, the second house in the United States, it was probably 1992. And uh, yeah, I think that's Veronica. Swinging on the swing. Giant tree, look at that. 
my dad on the name of the boat is Charlie Boy. My dad and I lived in that boat for one week, two weeks. This is Bellingham, Washington. Uh, my dad had some friends uh, that connected him to some friends that were rebuilding this boat. It's a fishing boat. There's their number, huh? Maybe, I don't know. So the name of the boat is Charlie Boy. We lived in it. And then every day the owners came and we helped them fix it. And then we went on a small fishing trip where I seen a couple sharks, flatfish, and we caught some crabs. Bellingham, Washington, I learned a lot. The year, this was the summer I ran away from mom. Ran away from mom's house. I spent the whole summer with dad all by myself. It was awesome. Neighborhood boy also. I think it was also a GSR. Yeah, it was like a 96 GSR. So our GSR and his GSR lined up. I got the Steelys on the front. Like a good old Honda boy. Val. Probably camping somewhere in... I don't know, Red Wing or something? You, my sister Elena and I were in the wrong shoes, but... Oh, where was this? I don't know. Yeah, nice. That, was, that Maxima was so old, but it just looked so decent. Didn't it? Val and Olga. Family Camp Grace Church. There was just a ton of sunfish right off the dock. We were, were catching them with a the net. Third grade Mississippi Elementary School. Man. Did he spot me? Bald headed surge. I remember her name, Jenny, Matthew, Win Vu. She's from Vietnam. I went to ESL with her. Lisa, Jade, Josh, I believe. Another Josh. No, I don't even know. Brandon, Kyle, Nicole, Tony. That might be Kyle, too. No, that's not Kyle. Jared. Alex Kuznetsov. He was in my third grade class. Or Kuz, uh, no, 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 Ustimchuk, Ustimchuk, Darcy Olson. She, I ended up going to, she was in most of my classes all the way up to like sixth grade when I moved, moved to Coon Rapids. Eve Rex, that was my friend. That was my best friend until... Until we did a bad deal. I traded my Nerf gun for a broken CB radio. And I thought Dad would like the CB radio. And Dad didn't like the CB radio. It was broken. It was like your friends. And I gave him a train. An electric train too. I gave him two things. He gave me just a broken CB. After that our friendship was over. Yeah. On a tire swing with Ida at Tituada's house. Dad and I. Oh, we climbed some mountain. I don't know. This might have been Wyoming. We're standing on some rocks. Kind of high. Yeah, more backyard fall colors. Mom and Dad in their wedding. Look at that. Nice shoes, Dad. Uh, this is orphanage in Russia. I want to say Russia. Probably oh, this, I'm probably like 18, 19, 20. What age am I? Uh, probably 20 years old at this time. 
This is the orphan, the trip with Shakopee Church. <clears throat> Small group. Two. This is when I met Serge. Oh my. Serge and I still keep in touch. He lives in Germany now. Pedal boat. Where was this? Como Zoo. Como Park. Como Zoo, Como Park in St. Paul. With Grandma. Man, Grandma could paddle. I thought, you know, I thought I was pad paddling hard. Grandma would turn the boost on and boom, we'd be going like a rocket. I was like, Grandma, you're Grandma. She's like, I know, I got the power. <laughs> Just carrying all those bags of potatoes in Soviet Russia, you know, in Moldova to feed her family. That was quite the power. <clears throat> to feed her family so she could really paddle that boat. Look, it's Dedja Pietje with that Mercury Sable. I'm going to buy myself a Mercury, cruise it up and down the road. And Paul. <clears throat> um, Bursov. So went to Florida, huh? That sable was pretty cool too. The sable, or the, in the <clears throat> Regal Grand Sport. Oh, there we are at Love Park again. Diamond and so on. Duluth. Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, this is up on a hill. Yeah, look at that. Youngest sister, Olga. Youngest brother, Val. And me, kind of. Keeping my distance. And then that's Denise Lelich. So, um, well, probably one of the last family photos in Moldova at our house. Is that me? Still working on Agent Swamp. We rented the cherry picker. And we hauled the cherry picker in the Honda. Oh, look, it's Alexa. Tires, um, rope swing on the Mississippi River just past downtown. We were out on Yuri's boat and sleeping in the boat and. <laughs> Looks like not a really clean picture. I wonder if, uh, I mean, the water's pretty polluted. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's kind of bad. You don't want to be swimming in that. I think this is before it gets really polluted. Before, the, like, after St. Paul, it's kind of, like, really polluted. Ah, uh, 4th of July Independence Day with the Lingus friends. I don't even remember which church this was. Was this Bloomington? Olga looking all nice. Look, it's me and Tima Azerkov. This was a container being filled with packages that we uh, gave to poor people to Russia or wherever. Mall of America, Legoland, yeah. It's Olga when I really liked her, when we were friends. Now we're not. I really hate alcohol. Look at this, huh? Really trying to show off those Scorcher tires. When you peel out, they made the color on the ground the same as the wheel. You could get red, blue, 
green, I think, and yellow. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think they stopped selling them after the reds and the blues, the gangs would like peel out and, and mark their territory. <laughs> Oh, we're on Charlie Boy. That's the daughter and the wife of the captain. There's dad, and he's down there. We're just pretending like we're driving with, on the top steering wheel. Yeah, nice snow day. Look at that. It's a blizzard. Let's take a picture. The Ultima's going to be buried. Boom, black GSR again. You can see the styling on the rims. They really they really go with uh, the American racing theme. But this particular model was like... I really enjoyed those rims. I don't know. Probably should have kept the... See, it didn't come with a... It, I only had two of the GSR swirly wheels, the original ones that came with. And I really didn't want that spoiler too bad. Um, it's kind of flashy, not too flashy, but I, just, I had a hard time covering up the hail damage dents. So that's why I got that three-piece wing. Uh, this is Ukraine church. In Ukraine on the mission trip. Vlad, man, that guy was cool. Vitaly and his wife Luba. <clears throat> they were the leaders. Oh, Veronica going on another. Another jump off the tire swing. Olga singing in church. More orphan children. Yeah, this was like when, when I was 20. Yeah, we had a, some good times playing. Okay, right. So this is Easter. No, no, no this is Thanksgiving 2005. Jatva. Boom. Surge. This is before my life got ruined by my girlfriend. <laughs> It wasn't bad, actually. Those were good times. Man. The end of summer camp, Grace Church High School. These three uh, were stepbrothers or sisters or something. I forgot their names. Anyways, Joan. I remember her. I think her name was Joan. Anyways, yeah. A wedding. Whose wedding was it? Don't remember. My sister Olga. Yeah. Look, it's baby Anton, my nephew. What is this? Um. Is this? This is probably the Mall of America. Olga and I. Love Park. I think I was like 19. Oh, look, my brother Val's still wearing glasses. This is our couch in. Rosemount. I was wearing my red and khaki for my Target uniform. I worked at Target. Oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. Everything's so familiar. Oh, it's the Nika cutting cake. Let's got it. Oh yeah, look at this. This is Italy. The right before we went to America. We lived with all these people in these 
in this like housing. They're all waiting for council papers or something. Oh, it's Mel. This was my graduation, I remember. Anton was there. Mel made it to my graduation, and so did Paul. My cousin. Al didn't really care about me graduating. And this oldest friend. She graduated too, maybe. I don't even remember. The same time. Sarah, I believe, right? Ultima in the snowstorm. Yeah. So, I don't know. There's just something about driving a car fast in the snow. Uh, I don't remember this. What is this one? The fireworks. Where were these pictures? I don't even know. I think I was like 14 or 15. Yeah, I spotted an M3 at the Mall of America. Took a pose with it. Oh, this is when I used to work when the new building at the Grace Church just opened up. I had just completed my Worsbow Radiant Floor Heating Upnor Life Life Safety Custom Systems. Is that what the hat is? So yeah, I worked as the security uh, traffic director at the Grace Church all this time ago. Now a lot of people want to go volunteer for that. Ha ha, I was the first one to do it. Oh, there's my diploma. That's all you need it for is to take a picture with it. Rosemount High School. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is probably one of my most, like, best times in my life. It's my girlfriend, Luba. This was my first love. Man. This was, like, the last couple days of the, of the camp. The missions camp in Ukraine. She was from Russia. This is right after breakfast. I'm trying to sneak a picture. To, you're trying to trying to be together as much as possible. I was 15. She was probably 14. She was 14. She was a year younger than I. Yeah, we loved each other so much. Natasha and her family. Oh, there's Paul helping me. Direct traffic. This was like a concert or something. Later that night, we were going to have a lot of cars, like 2,000 cars to direct to park in the parking spots. Our 84 Honda Accord. I don't even remember what we crashed this thing in or who crashed it. I know one time Val backed into something and then another time. I don't even remember. We got the car for free. It was awesome. It was a five speed. Somebody just gave us that car. Yeah, there I am. Sitting down after they called my name. Sergei Vorobiev. Graduation. Please come up to the stage and move your tassel from the right to the left. Right? Is it? How, how was it in the other picture? Yeah. Okay. Here's to the right. Here's to the left. <laughs> you know, I didn't... I think I made it... I almost didn't make it to my graduation because I have, haven't been going to school, to that school for like four months. Because they transferred me to a different school where I could go faster. And then I had to come back to walk with my class. And I was like, oh, when's the graduation? Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, good thing I asked. <laughs> you know. Panther rims on Ivan Malinsky's Lumina van. 
with the GTO wind deflector. <laughs> In Coon Rapids. Luba and I again at night. Good night, honey. <laughs> Teen missions. Get dirty for God. Go lay a brick. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad. Shouldn't make it to 20. There's Mel and Elena, probably. Okay, there's a better shot, huh? Rosemont High School. Or this one. Uh, what are we doing here? Playing with the, oh yeah. I was, I put those lowering springs in the Maxima. <laughs> and we got, what do we have here? The soon to be repaired Del Sol VTEC. This was the mission trip to Russia. To the orphanage. It was Lelio Stilkovy, Nadia. What's her last name? I don't remember. This is when we landed in the United States. I was the only guy that went on the trip. 